Afternoon everyone, AJ here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to turn on the new Microsoft Teams meeting experiences to give you even more functionality when you're using Teams as a video collaboration tool. Just to let you know, the quality of this video may be a bit different to what I usually produce because I'm doing everything today end to end on a Surface Pro X. I'm testing out the Pro X from the cameras, the microphone, the speakers, and of course the processing power of what it's like to edit a video on. So let me know in the comment section below what you think of the video quality overall, and of course, on the tips and tricks that I'm giving you today. And with that being said, let's get into it. So I've opened up Microsoft Teams and I've got an example meeting here, pop out chat example. If you've used Teams before, this is gonna look very familiar to you. I'm gonna hit join meeting. It's gonna pop up and this is where you can choose options like blurring your background, having your camera on. This is all gonna seem very familiar. I'm just gonna hit join meeting. So we've joined the meeting here and you can see that this meeting is taking up the entire page. Um, if I wanted to navigate to something, say a different file or a different chat within Teams. So let's go chat, or let's go Teams for a second. The meeting itself is gonna turn into a little tiny window here and I can still navigate, but it's not the most conducive way of using Teams, which is why they've introduced the feature of popping out this chat and actually using it in a separate window. So you can see here, we only have the one window for Teams right now, whether we're in the video call, whether we're going into any area of Teams, say for example, we're going into our calls or go into our files. We've only got the one pane of glass. We've only got the one window of Teams running right now. So I'm gonna hang up on that call and I'm gonna teach you how to turn on the new meeting room experience. What you wanna do is go into the top right hand corner and select on your profile picture. Scroll down to where it says settings. And then when the settings open, you'll see you've got the options for themes, application, and a number of different tip bo tick boxes. The last one is turn on new meetings room experience. Meetings and calls will open in separate windows. So I'm gonna turn that on. And the little setting here, or the little message here says requires restarting of Teams. So we're gonna close this option. We're gonna close Teams. And to fully restart, restart Teams, you're actually gonna go find it in the taskbar, right click, and go quit. This will completely restart Teams. So now I'm gonna go into my start options. I'm gonna hit Microsoft Teams again. It's gonna load and it's gonna feel like nothing has changed, but I'll show you where the difference is now. Now that Microsoft Teams has reloaded, we're gonna jump back into our Teams. We're gonna to go to that calendar and go to that exact same pop out chat example. Nothing's gonna seem like it's changed just yet, but when I hit that join option, you'll notice that there is a slight difference. You can see here that the chat itself has actually already popped out and now it's running in a separate window. Let me turn on my camera for you just so you can see me, hello. Um, down the bottom, you have the option to blow your background or change your settings. But the big thing is you can see here that it's now popped out in a separate window. So I'm gonna hit join meeting, awesome. And the beauty of it is that it's now running in a separate window. So if you wanted to, for example, snap this to the right hand side and run Teams on the left hand side, you can still be having your meeting. You can still be having your meeting, having your, your video conversation while navigating through the rest of Teams. You could be going to that file section. You could be going to a different team site. All the controls of that Teams meeting are now at the top of the, the ribbon here. So we can show participants or we can show the conversation pane. And this is, now we have the conversation, your video call and Teams running all on the one screen. You have a, a much smoother workflow and it allows you to multitask a lot better in Microsoft Teams. There you have it. That is how you can turn on the new Microsoft Teams meeting experience. 